Welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. All right, we coming in with this week's Green Leaf. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. If yeah. you are a family member, y'all know what to do. Y'all go ahead and grab y'all a fan from the back of the church. The church yes, ain't... Yes, indeed. We ain't demolished the church yet. Yeah. We still have a building. Exactly. The usher's about to bring you your program. And your tithes and offering envelope. Hello. Yeah. And spit your gum out. We exactly. in the church right now. E. If you want to keep up with our day-to-day -day life, make sure that you're following us on Instagram. And if lifestyle vlogs are e. your thing, make sure you're following us on Life With Us TV, both on YouTube and on Instagram as well. And I will link all the details to my hair below because every week someone asks. And I'll also hook y'all up because most of y'all was like, I don't know how to do crochet braids. I'm going to hook y'all up with some weave. E. I'm going to hook y'all up with a wig. All in this same style. So I got you. Got I got you. you. So got let's you go ahead cover. and get into a Green Leaf Season 5, Episode 6, The Sixth, the sixth day. day. They're making it so easy. They're making it easy <laughs> because they all have some biblical meanings to them. Yeah. So let's go ahead and start off right. <laughs> From last week, we saw that Coochie Cross showed up on the scene. So we knew that this week was about to be a banger. So y'all, let's get started. Yeah. Bishop is on the phone with the F. B to I, the I. Yeah. Because he's like, listen, <laughs> with a loose Rochelle cross around here, everything else got to wait. Y'all yeah. need to come down here and see about her. Y'all need to lock her up. I know that y'all got something that y'all can book her on because right here, <laughs> right now, Buck a doctor's appointment. May is in his ear talking about something. You need to get to the doctor in 20 minutes. He was like, Buck that doctor's appointment. Say, I got nah. something real pressing right now. Exactly. And it's Rochelle cross. Stella was like, wait a minute. It's, She's like, like, a, it's like, a, like a loose pit bull in the neighborhood. Like, y'all got to come and get her. Right now. For she bites somebody else. Mm -hmm. So Bishop was like, but what I am going to do is I'm about to head on down to this club and meet with this um inspector. And I said, you had this set up <laughs> yeah. all along. <laughs> exactly. Because how are you supposed to be with the inspector and the doctor all at the same time? Because like you said, he won't plan on going to see that doctor. So he gets over there to the club, which is going to be the new church. And who pops up at the club? Coochie Cross. Coochie Cross was like, hmm, looks like you and your wife are living a real unfavorable life. For somebody that's living by the word and living by the, a man of the cloth, it just <laughs> seems like, hmm, I think that you should just burn the bastard down. Yeah. With me, me in it. it. You Since know, that's, that's you all style. That's what y'all like, like to here do. We go. I said, oh, okay. All right, Bishop. She, she got you on that one. Had them thinking, though. Yeah. So he was like, what do you want from me? I mean, what, what, what is this? And she was like, just tell the truth. Till you do right by me. Everything, Everything you, you think, think about, about go fail. fail. But she was like, no, until you admit what you did, ain't nothing that you, you ain't gonna have no peace in so many words. And he was like, you need help. <laughs> you need help. And you need to seek the love. They pretty much like treating her as if you ain't did skit yeah. with her. Like Bishop, this this yeah this you ain't gonna work right here. Yeah you yeah you was all on her not too long ago. Yeah. So then she looked at him and I said, Is she about to cry? She said, Basie should have killed you, you when he had, had a chance. chance. So, I I forgot all about that. But who was in the truck last week? Yeah yeah we forgot up. all about that. Yeah who, who pulled up? Because by this time Bishop and May they back at the house, so they didn't see who like who was in. I truck. think I think I have an idea who was in that truck, but I'm gonna wait till we get there. You think? I think I have an idea who was in that truck. All right. So, over at the house, May is still insisting on having this meeting with Tara because she wants to hear Tara out. So she's basically like Tara. So you mean to tell me that after my son came over there to talk to you, then coincidentally, Coochie Cross just, just show. pops up. You called so, them. So you mean to tell me that y'all not in cahoots with trying to take my house? Huh. And don't forget, this is my house. And Tara was like, now don't get it twisted. I like how she kind of said it. Don't get it twisted. I, I love the Lord and all of that. But that's still my sister. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to talk about some things. But just know that we were not in cahoots. I didn't know that this was going to go down like this. But she said, but in reference to your house... She said, when I pulled up on here, I know that there is some great things that the Lord wants to do with this she was property like, I right ain't here. Never seen it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But she said, if it's gonna come with a fight, then I don't know mm, if it's worth, worth it. it. I said, mm. 
Okay. But she was, said, we, but your sister. No, Coochie Cross ain't fitting to um, let it go down like that. And Tara said, and that you would be right on. Yep. I said, ah, oh, she ain't going to let it go down like that. And so we see Zora. Because I know last week they broke the news to Zora that, A, we're getting a divorce. And she is not taking it well at all. But she's dealing with it in her own way. So Zora, we see her fiddling around with her phone. And she was like, I got to do this for this audition. I got to do this. And she's getting Sophia to help her out. And while she has her phone trying to get it on the ring light, the tripod, her confirmation for her flight comes down in notification. You know how it is. When you yep. get somebody your phone, everything you didn't want them to know, they're going to find gonna out. They're going to know it. Yep. Because they're going to read your notification. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and they're going to pull it down just so they can read it off. Yep. And Zora, I mean, I'm Sophia was like, so this flight that you can check into, what's uh, that all about? Where were you going? So she said, I'm going to New York. She says, so you have a place in New York? Like, I'm like, New York, <laughs> to get a corner in New York costs over $1,500 a month. Yeah. Where you going to live at, Zora? And she was like, oh, when I get there, I'll just figure it out. So and you, that was pre-COVID, though. <laughs> so you about to be homeless, though. I mean, yeah. come on, Zora. Come on, come on, son. What'd she say? Uh, New York, welcome young girls that want to flourish and all this stuff. Yeah, like, it's prostitutes. Yeah. I mean. You got to have a plan. You got to have a real major plan for New York. But that goes to show the immaturity of, of us when we was living at home. I can't wait to get out this house. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on my own. I'm going to do this and not even know it. Mm -mm. Like, now, now you're older, be like, man, I miss being at home with no responsibilities, man. I miss no responsibility. I don't miss being at home. Praise the Lord for a child to have their home. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Sophia was like, mm, I got to do something but, about this. But Sophia go back and tell everything. everything. She, uh, she one of the biggest snitch cousins, man. I'm telling you, if you... If Sophia had been one of our cousins, we would have whooped her a man. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So she runs to Jacob, and Carissa was like, listen, it's about Zora, and they told her. So, of course, um, Jacob and Carissa goes down there to talk to Zora and was like, no, nah, this ain't about to happen like this. But Jacob was like, in pure daddy fashion, when it comes to them girls. Yeah. Um... Is that ticket refundable? I was like, probably not. Yeah. Because you know the refundable ticket costs twice as much. Exactly. And you always get the cheapest ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so she was like, uh, I probably can get a refund on it. Why? What's up? He was like, because we need a couple of days to work out a plan for you when you get to New York. You know, Carissa's sister lives there. She was <clears> like, but she doesn't live in New York, so she probably lives in Jersey. Yeah. So um, she was like, no. I want to be in New York. Yeah. I'm, yeah. And they was like, no, we're going to have to work this out. But I appreciate I appreciate that standpoint of Jacob because she was like, I'm grown because I can do what I want. I'm not a kid anymore. But she, they know her immaturity that she need to be set up. So I appreciate them them not just saying, you ain't going to go. Yeah, we're going to help. Gonna do something. Yeah, we're going to help you maneuver to get there so you can do this thing right. Because mm -hmm. we, so we know in a week you're going to be back. <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly. Because New York will spit you out. And say, didn't you see Home Alone? <laughs> yeah. He had a credit the one, card. The one lost in New York. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Zora was pissed off about it. But she played it real smooth. She did a Sophia or Sophia. Yep. So, she went and told Gigi about Sophia not wanting to go back to Hampton because she got titty pics on it on the end of that. But I was waiting for Gigi to come storming through that Me store. Too. That was the only thing I was waiting for. I yeah. Said, she about to storm through that door yep. and go ham. On her daughter, but she didn't. So, AJ, um, Gigi gets a call and was like, uh, your son is ready to take his treatment. So, she goes to the doctor's appointment where um, Noah and AJ are already there. And her and Noah are having a conversation and, you know, they're talking about the care um, taker and blah, blah, blah. So, Noah came up with this great idea and was like, I can walk around to the neighbor's. You know, because that's that's his domain. You know, the neighbors yeah. know him. And I could see, can they tell me who this dude was? And they can give me a little intel of what the deal was with the lady and all, and Miss Davis and all that good stuff. She was like, okay, that's a real good idea. But she was like, how in the world did you get AJ to agree yeah. to okay, start taking that. his meds? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, I just asked him. Yeah. like he can, it was, I think it was your dad. Yeah, he with the new car. He was excited about yeah. the car. He was showing my mom. Mama, a whole bunch of pics online. <laughs> he said, so I just slid it on in there. He was like, yeah, okay. 
But Gigi feels some kind of way, y'all. Yeah. She feels some kind of way. That but that's after, the power of a dad, yeah, though. Yeah, all dad her can, efforts. Yeah. She couldn't get him to do anything. Yeah. And dad comes in on the mega buzz. And now all of a sudden, the son getting treatment. Yeah, because she's thinking about, I got him a place. I got him out of that facility. I put money in his pocket. I looked out for his well-being, sitting with his dad one day. And all of a sudden, he do whatever he say. I get it. I get it. I'll be mad, too. I'll be a little hurt, too. Yeah, I'll be I'll mad. Be hurt yeah, too. yeah, I'll be mad. But, um. What's kids, though? Then, then AJ, or who we this think new is dude, AJ. Whoever this dude is. Like I told him on the live tonight, I was like, is this the real Gucci Mane, or is this the clone? I was like, who is this dude? He come out there all happy. He got a little yeah. glow to himself. Yeah. He used his cocoa butter and Jesus or whatever. And he was like, ah, I see y'all. Mm. I see I see how y'all made me. I see how uh, that could happen. Yep. Y'all just go ahead and have fun. Do what y'all need to do. He <laughs> went downstairs to go get his meds. Um, and then Noah tells Gigi, listen, I know a whole bunch of skit going on around at your house. And in case your family <laughs> about to be homeless, just know that... I'm about to get a place for me and no, um, me yeah. and um, AJ. AJ, you are more than welcome, welcome to come on to through. Come on through and yeah, stay come on, set up house with us, man. It's like God, don't. So Gigi got all the men wanting to provide for her. Well, at least, with, at least with, if all all the skit hits the fan, she ain't gonna be left out in the cold. Well, she the cold. one with money though. Yeah, but one they of them don't men, know. But they don't know nothing else. So one of them men gonna take good care of them. Mm. All you got to do is put them She need a win, though. She needs a major she need, win. She need a win. Just like we need Charlie to win on Queen Sugar. I Whenever that's coming, I can't wait to Queen Sugar come back yeah. on. Yeah, please come back on. Ugh, but COVID, we know. Yeah. So, <laughs> Bishop gets back <laughs> from the club, and he is hotter uh, than fish <laughs> grease. Yeah. I mean, he got them Wranglers pulled up and got that belt tight. He said, I don't care what you say. We ain't getting rid of this house. And Lady May is still on her but James. But we've been sitting here living a lie. You and pretty much she is she is being honest about how everything has gone down. Like, yes, I enjoy the privilege of being able to have a house yeah. that was just given to me. But don't think for a minute I didn't question all of this. Oh, Although yeah. I'm living it in and I'm comfortable uh -huh. and I'm happy about it. So she told him, she said, have it ever occurred to you that Miss Davis, a white woman, just gave us her house? house? She wasn't even a member at our church. I said, hold on. Like, like, what? Because I could have sworn that she was at least going to the church regularly on a Sunday. Said, met her through Matt. That's a bad reference right there. Say Mac paid her a visit. She came to the church, and next thing you know, we got a house. Yeah, I, I, I'm i like, how did that work? I said, Lady May, I said, if you ain't never said the truth, you said it tonight. But I wonder if this, I'm, I know you're going to talk about it, but I'm going to talk, since we hear that about the, all those bad loans that was given to the black folk. Oh, we're going to talk about it. I wonder was she trying to pay some retribution back, whereas... This is what my family did to y'all. So this is my way of giving y'all some reparations. It's just a thought. I, I ain't saying that it's true. Is there another will where she left it up? Cause <laughs> it I, might. Because <laughs> I need that house. <laughs> but I can I do a lot with that house. Because maybe that house was gotten through those bad loans. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We, we, we think it too much. Yeah. <laughs> so... Lady May is on her holier than thou kick, and Bishop is <laughs> he not. He ain't here for it, boy. He not here for none of it. And he was like, "Listen, y'all in this whole town have had the privilege of having all my skit on Front Street, on, like on a blimp, on a blimp, a blimp. God. while you've been laying up in this house living a life of 40, 40 years, years comfortably." I, what? He was like, "What did he tell her?" I wrote it down. He said, "So leave your holy ambitions to, to yourself." yourself. But like, ain't that like some people, though? Always judging Where's and the criticizing lie? everybody else. And for 40 years, you done lied. And we knew what he meant. Wow. That's a long time to keep a lie. Uh-huh. But Jacob came in just in the nick of time. Yeah. And he was like, I don't mean to interrupt, but Carissa and Winky about to leave this house. I said, she really did move fast. Thank yeah. you. And... I would like for y'all to come downstairs and see her off, you know, just to kind of just part ways, you know, 
Can we be normal? In other words, so Carissa won't feel some kind of way. That's it. I said, mm. So then Lady May go tell him and say, maybe the next time you should marry That's for love. Who, yeah, somebody that you love so, and be faithful. But I'm like, aren't you talking to yourself? I said, did you just hear what your husband just said to you? Like he literally just read your entire life and you yep. just throw that at your son? Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's go over here to Mr. Shabazz. Mr. Shabazz, Shabazz um, showed up at the gates, right? And Charity didn't know who she was, who, who he was. was. And now she's happy that he came through. And I'm happy that he came through too. So he shed some light on this um Eden Eden Brook. What is it? Eden, Eden Book. Eden Land whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Eden Brook Land Linden. The evil bank. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, okay. What started out happening is they would pretty much target black people, mm -hmm. poor black people, and get them into these loans that they could never repay. They had these balloon payments that they could never afford to pay at the end of these terms. On purpose. And then they would take their houses from yes. them. Yes. He said, what happened was this man showed up and my ex-wife got hung up yep. in the mix and then she became the face of trust Yes. for the black people. Yes. So it was her that was encouraging the black people to get into these, these loans, loans but yes. they were lying to her exactly so he was like i'm not gonna go on record with any of this because he was like <laughs> my skin goes uh -huh, back yeah, back. yeah. but he was like he told him at the end he said but if you can find somebody that will be willing to say this i'll, I'll confirm he said but that i'm deep background i'm, I'm, like, deep, I'm background. deep background I uh, said, what you're not going to do is have me hemmed up yeah. for some information. But I'm like, why you come then? Why you come if we can't live? But, but he was kind of displaying the power that he know that they have. Mm. That they know, just like with Darius, if he say something wrong, he knows something going to happen to him. So Charity, over there at the church, because they ain't tore the church down yet. Like I told y'all, we still got a seat in the oh, church right now. Oh, they're pissing me off at the church. And they're going through the um, files. And Miss Judy is saying... Oh, Corinne kept really good. clean records and good so records. So what you expect? It feels it's, like, what do you mean? This was her job. And she was like, yeah. but you know, she always had her head, but like... Black people know how to keep good records too, we Judy. Do. Yeah. So, so next thing we know, Mr. Shabazz pops in and Phil was like he saw a freaking, freaking ghost. ghost. Mm -hmm. So he pretty much had an opportunity to read Phil for life. Just told him about what his mom had did. All that stuff. And Judy is over there like, no. no, no all no, of it no, is no, a lie. True. And my right, dad yeah. loves black, black people. Like, just that statement right there. <laughs> Let you know. No, exactly what he's saying. So Phil acts like he wants to call the police on his dad. And Charity grabbed like, the phone and was like, no. oh, no, you will not. And then they went ahead and left. And she was like, I'm going to pray for you because you need it. Yeah. You need it. And she said, well, people usually say it, they say it out of pity. But no, no, no. I really do mean it. I'm going to pray for you. I said, mm, you need to. So that it, they shook his core. It, but it makes me wonder if the daddy, if Mr. Shabazz left his mom because she got caught up in that stuff. I would love and to may, know that. And maybe he was warning her, be like, hey, don't go, hey, don't be fooling around with these white folks. They're going to get you in trouble. With they, these loans. They, with these loans and stuff. When this stuff comes back to roost, they're going to blame you for it and you're going to go down. Mm -hmm. And maybe he detached himself saying, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to go to jail. And maybe it appeared to Phil that daddy was walking out on us, but daddy was saving himself, possibly. Yeah, I would love to know some yeah, background, background on, that. on that. Yeah. So over at the house, they don't see Carissa off, right? And they're just standing there. And I said, ooh, Lady May about to do something. So all of them are standing out there, except um, Charity. Charity isn't there yet. But we see that Charity is pulling up. And Lady May said, you know what? While we are starting a new beginning, because you know that's what she preached on last week, she was like, before we go back into this house, there is something that I need to tell you. And everybody was like, listen, we done been through enough. Yeah. Don't tell me no skit that's going to have me out Say, here. we already know about COVID. Nothing else. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing else. Nah, -uh, you ain't had no bad doctor's report, have yeah, you? I mean, no, what no. else? So then she looks at Gigi, and um, Gigi was like, everything all right, mama? She was like, well, you know this is about us. Wish. So she said, 40 years ago, 
<laughs> I had an affair. Well, lied on. <laughs> and it, Gigi, Gigi is, is a product, product of that, that affair. affair. Jacob looked like say, hey, this no, is a uh -huh. bitch. And then had a nervous say, dinner's at 7.30. Nobody gives a good D about dinner at 7.30, after which you just throw it at us? Everybody was on that step like... Now, see, that's the... Yeah, that's we, that skip. I don't that's like. That's that generation, y'all, man. I'm pretty sure some of y'all, y'all do that. You throw stuff on us, and dinner is and at we, seven thirty, and, and we're supposed to just accept it without. I have some motherfucking questions, and you gonna answer? Yeah. And I'm not. I'm being trying to disrespectful. figure out why I messed up, and you got me thinking I'm crazy. I'm trying to like Charity said, got me trying to live up to a standard that ain't even real. And you're supposed to be a good. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost feel, tongue talking, Christian. sanctified, uh, tongue talking, whatever, whatever Christian, and you creep around on daddy and had Gigi. For 40 years, we For didn't 40 know years, we didn't know that. So did the kids are at the house drunk on dead or so? Toe up, toe up. This was a moment for you to be drunk. Yeah. Jacob They had like, wine. They should have had the brown liquor. I don't know why they didn't bring yeah. the hard stuff. Y'all bring drown... Because they drink brown liquor like it's water, so wine would get them a little fine. Gotcha, gotcha. So Jacob was like, do you know how hard mama has been on me? How how judgmental mm -hmm. she has been on me? Yep. About me messing up and cheating? And all along, she been around here doing that? Yeah. And then Charity was like, yeah, it's like a plane. Yeah. It's like a plane. A crane, a plane like crash. The, like the pilot is drunk, <laughs> and we all crashed, and we didn't survive. And then we just survive, and we just have this life that's a mess. It's not real. Yeah. And what is wrong with us? We're living, like you said, trying to live up to a standard that isn't real. And she said, and the pilots were drunk. So are you trying to say that your parents <laughs> is the pilots of this, cra this plane and then crash? They looked at each which they saying, are. And then they said, we've always tried to figure out why you were so light. light. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you get the light skin from. And Gigi said, oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Faith was light skinned too. It was like, there's Faith light skinned and then there's you light skinned. Yep. That, that is light on light skin. Yes. They was like, uh, but it was like, we love you just the same. But they was like, it, it all makes sense now. Yeah, but I appreciate Greenleaf for bringing that up. Uh -huh. Because there's some parents out there that you need to, mamas need to tell their daughters that they were hoes back in the day. Daddies need to tell their sons that they were slanging a whole lot of dang lang around town. And your brother that you thought was just yeah. your homeboy, that's really your brother. They yeah, always uh -huh. tell you y'all look alike. Yeah. Nah, y'all really. those cases you had with siblings getting married because their parents were fooling around and didn't tell them that they had other brothers and sisters out there because they kept too many secrets. They swept, they, they, were, they slept, swept everything underneath the rug, but they want us to be truthful about everything. Ain't that they, a little hypocritical? Oh, yeah. And they real judgmental. And don't let them get saved. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. All sins are washed away. Uh, washed away in the blood of Jesus. Yes. That's what the scripture said. All well and good. Yes. But what you did to your child doesn't go away just because you got saved. You still There's a day of record. gotta deal with it. Yes, indeed. The cross don't fix that. Mm -mm. You gotta fix that. Nope. Let sure say amen Let on sure that. Let sure say amen. So with that, Gigi goes over there to see Darius. Because earlier in the episode, Darius had called Gigi from an unknown number. She happened to answer. She was like, what's up with this number? He was <clears> like, well, when I was over there in Vegas, he said my hotel was um, broken into, my phone was taken, and my laptop. I said, ooh, that sounds yeah. real suspicious. Yeah, uh -huh. But he was like, those files that I gave you from the lending company that I shared with you, you still have those, right? She said, yeah, I think so. So she goes upstairs to send the files back to him. As she's opening up her laptop and to look at the files, they're all disappearing mm -hmm. like dominoes. And I'm like, take a screen grab. Do something. Do something. Yeah. You know, screen record your screen. Do something. Yeah. Yeah, so we know some skit going down. That, that um, Bob and them and his boys... They own the case. So later on, I guess Darius had called her to his place. She went over there. It's dark. Yeah. I'm like, hmm, is this some kind of setup? Like, what's going on? She calls him on the phone. His phone goes directly to voicemail. Then this vehicle pu um, pulls up. This white man gets out. 
whoever he is. And I was like, is that like, Fernando? Like, I can't remember who these people are. It didn't look like Fernando to me. And he went to grab Gigi. It was like, you in too deep. Pretty much, you need to let this Let's go. Let's go. Because it's about to... I said, do you know, Gigi already got a body. Yeah. The only uh, thing she needs is a teardrop tattoo exactly. on her cheek. So don't roll up on her sideways. Because you could be killed it up too, like grandma said. Yeah, because she about that life, I'm telling you. So, and it went on from there. I said, thank you, Greenleaf, for finally giving us a freaking episode. Yeah, but this is what I'm going to say about who I believe was in that, that, that truck. Please tell me. That truck that pulled up in the end, I got a feeling that Coochie Cross is in Coochie. That's that truck that pulled up. But you really couldn't see it, but it was a truck that pulled up. By the, yeah, I think Coochie Cross was in that truck and got in that truck. At the end of last week's uh, episode. That's why. I'm still confused why Bishop and Lady May ain't addressed this truck. But anyway, straight for the video. The dirty, dirty south. To, uh, to the house. Holla.